Hello everybody, today's challenge is all about Yorkshire and there are five phrases I want you to think about. It is known for jaw-dropping scenery. Yes, that's Yorkshire. And I'm also going to ask you, do you know the phrase, I have enough trouble, way down there and on my doorstep. These are all English phrases that we use anywhere in the country and today we're challenging you, how many do you know? So let's begin. It is known for, if we use this phrase, we're usually talking about something that people know about. So they have some information about. It is known for its beautiful scenery, if you're talking about Yorkshire. And that just means that different people all over the country have some knowledge, do know something about Yorkshire. It is known for jaw-dropping scenery. I really love that phrase. Jaw-dropping, do you know what it means when we go, wow, see how our mouth, our jaw, this whole bit here moves downwards. Wow. So jaw-dropping makes sense, doesn't it? When you go, wow, how fantastic is what I can see there? Because that's called scenery. And what about when you hear people say, oh, I have enough trouble getting my shopping bags home. That phrase, I have enough trouble, really means I find this difficult. And we usually use this phrase when somebody asks us to do something else. Oh, whilst you're out, can you buy me uh, some butter? I have enough trouble getting my own shopping. So that phrase, I have enough trouble, it's difficult for me. What about way down there? You all understand, don't you, about when we're pointing to something. Do you know where I can find the box? Oh, over there. Do you know where I can find the post office down there? If you're standing in the road, you might say way down there to identify the actual amount of time it will take to get there or the actual length of that space between where you're standing and where you're going. Oh, it's way down there. And what about on my doorstep? I love this phrase, on my doorstep. Do you know that because I live in Yorkshire, there's beautiful scenery on my doorstep means where I live nice that isn't it on my doorstep and that's the end of our phrases so how many did you get right on my doorstep way down there I have enough trouble jaw dropping scenery and it's known for and how many are you going to write down and repeat to yourself so that you learn them and think about using well I'll be back tomorrow with number five of our phrase challenge. Bye now.